It's a tile, tile. tracker, bro. That's one of those little. Hold on, sorry. It's a tracking device. It's Dan, a... you can use that to track anything from you... a phone anywhere around the anything, world. Anything, anything. Where'd you find that? Where, where'd you find that? It was like right in between here. Bro, someone was in our car yesterday. Oh my someone God. Someone was in our car yesterday. So I want to ask you now, um, it's such a, such a... Oh no. The pictures, Chris, the pictures of yeah. us. Pictures of us, pictures of CJ. Um, the notes we're finding, handwritten notes that are like literally directed to us when we're going to these random nautical points. Like that, that's what people want to know. And that's what I mean. Like, I don't want to dodge these questions anymore. I, I want to get straight to the point. I want to ask you how. But like, how weird can stalkers get, you guys? Like, are there... Like, what? I mean, really, there have been like stories. lifetime stories about stalker situations. Yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? Like, what yeah. if you guys actually have, yeah. I, don't, I, I don't know. The video that you guys are about to watch is absolutely crazy. This is one of the most mind-blowing videos we have ever recorded. Like, this video is jam-packed with content, experiences, like yep. the whole nine yards. Literally, what you're about to watch in this video, we are going to be talking to the literal Randonautica team, the co-founder of Randonautica, Auburn K. And on top of that, the... Uh, I can't believe what we have just experienced. We experienced something so crazy that it literally proves that we are being followed, stalked, if you will. Yeah, we touched upon it a little bit in the last video. Like, I'll, I'll fill you guys in really quick. It's, it's crazy. So Chris and I, as you guys know, we are very immature and we do very stupid things. While I was taking a shower, Chris is setting off our car alarm and locking it, unlocking it numerous times to basically try to get me out of the shower. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it, it is what it is. That's just how we are as people. I get out, I have my towel around me and I go outside to check and see if like security's there or whatever, because we are at a resort. We're not at just a standard hotel. We're at a resort where hundreds of people are staying at. Yeah. I get out there and there is the car that we had and someone is literally in the car like this. I saw legs and they were going through the middle console yeah. and they're touching this and touching that. And I say to Chris and I'm like, is that our car? And we couldn't tell because like we have such a like, we, we rented a car that's super popular. Like it, it's yeah, a popular it's a Kia color, Forte, I mean, Kia no. Forte. Yeah. So whatever. I went back in and I actually put all my clothes on. We got the camera and we were gonna, we were getting ready to go. We get downstairs and at the car, we go to unlock it and that is the legit car. The, the car that the person was in, someone yeah. was in our car. Someone was going through our car. What they were trying to do, but. Luckily, our camera equipment was not in the car at the time because we would have just lost everything. Yeah. But it, it, it gets crazier than that. And I promise you, you will see in this video. Just hang in there. And we talked to the Randonautica co-founder about this and we had her explanation and we asked the right questions we asked are we hacked are we being stalked are we being followed are they stalking us are they following us and you will see that in the interview in this video but for now we're going to jump straight into this i just want to say thank you guys so much for the incredible support um i'm i'm like super jittery right now but like we just experienced all of this and like i'm still trying to like recoup a little process bit all this. yeah this process um with all that being said, 20,000 likes and we will be dropping that next round of video. Let's go. See you guys. Hope you enjoy. All right, everybody. We are headed to our next round of nautical location and um, it's the first one of the night for us. So we decided to use the intent, something that doesn't belong. And um, that's our favorite one. We usually have a lot of luck with this. Um, that's why I figured we'd get on like a chain, you know what I mean? Like, oh, Thanks for using your blinker. Wow, that's a really nice car. Shame it doesn't come with a blinker. You might not, dude. It's really weird. I don't know. It must have been optional when you bought the vehicle. I know, right? Like, I Loser. took a wrong turn. I'm so stupid. Yes. Oh, nice yeah. Turn back there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot, sorry. <laughs> it's hard to see with this blinding light in my eyes. Oh, yeah. Blame the leak, Yeah. Well, I was going to say, guys, um, I saw some comments in the last video. I just wanted to address this. People were like, oh, you said in the Zoom meeting with uh, Auburn that there was only two flights available for the plane. How did Jen come? 
guys. <laughs> Y'all not play Twitter. Yeah, yeah. So what, what happened? I got I got to talk about this. It's pretty funny. But um, Jen decided a couple days later that she wanted to come, and um, she had to make sure that she was okay with work and et cetera, et cetera. And then when I went to go buy her uh, flight, I didn't think that she was gonna get on our flight at all. I was gonna buy her the flight for the next day because that's what was oh available. God. And then I wouldn't have came because um, I can't travel by myself. I don't know how to do that. Like, what do you mean? I don't blame you. I really don't. Oh, but do for some reason, <laughs> I'm just fucking these speed bumps up. But what happened was when we checked the flights, there was another seat available for Jen. So we're like, all right, awesome. Yeah. And she just rolls up. Rooms through our flat spots. Um, okay. Totally it says weird. not to go left. There's a no turning left sign here, but I can't read. Oh, at least you used yeah. your blinker. Of course. If I'm gonna break the law, I'm gonna do it right. Absolutely. You're, you just broke one, that's okay. Thank you. Well, um... This is pretty. It just rerouted me. What the hell is it doing? Bro, what is the map doing? I don't know. I'm like driving into the woods apparently. But look up. <laughs> I'm on a road. Um, okay. This is kind of weird. Something that doesn't belong. It's probably us. <laughs> look at this shit. Wow. Yeah, apparently we're driving in the middle of the forest right now. And it's it's literally moving. This is not like a screenshot or anything. Watch. I'll move this myself. You have arrived. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. Something that doesn't belong. It doesn't make sense here. It says it's right here to the left. Huh. There's like a little pull-off area over here. You see this? Come on, light. What's that? I'm sorry, hmm. I'm not supposed to swear. Right? No, you're good. I'm really good at swearing, John, so. It's all fun editing until Chris drops. 60 F bomb back to me. Is that a couch? It is a couch. I think so. Oops. What in the Um. Someone wants to sit out. Okay, real quick. Before we hop out, can we talk about something? What? Why are we in like the middle of a forest apparently? Yeah, this map is kind of weird, dude. I don't know. This is all paved. Something that doesn't belong. This is weird. Let's, let's hop out. My phone just fell. Let's hop out. Hey, you're fine. Good. You can walk around. Huh? You can walk around. You're fine. Jenny, you stone to the bone. Don't mind my feet. Sounds cool. Some Wendy's. <laughs> I would do some crazy stuff for some Wendy's right now, let me tell you. But for um, Wendy's? What we're here for is this. Yeah. Are we though? Yeah, look at that bug on there. Where? Look at that bad boy. It's a big boy. It's a big boy. Speaking of bugs. There are so many insects. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. Something that doesn't belong. It checks out. Yeah, yeah. it's really a couch here. Ooh, what is that? Not very spooky, oh, but alright. Whatever. Hold uh, on. Jen, can you point this out there? I'm gonna try to grab that. I just don't know what craters are living in this. Don't, don't. There might be a snake in here. Oh, I think you're fine, bro. Like a banshee. Banshees. Oh, spider, watch out. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. You're such a <laughs> Sorry, I had to. What? Bro, just grab it. That's like a video game or something. What the hell? Is that an iPod? Yeah, what's one of the old iPhones? <gasps> iPod. Remember all the colored ones they used to have? It's an iPod. What the hell? A C. Is that from? You can flip it backwards. Like the other way, it's like an N. I was like a U like that. No. That's Why is it like in saran wrap? Oh, uh. Wait. Hold well, on, I'm gonna oh, move away from this hole. It looks like an iPod, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna throw about critters over there, so I'm saying this way. What's up? I don't wanna get bit by anything. So yeah, I'm let's, let's go back to the road. On the concrete. Feel a little bit safer. It is an iPhone. Look at that. iPhone. iPhone Bro, I always wanted they had like a coral one. That's so weird. Oh my god. Okay. What? Oh, we just found a phone in the middle of nowhere. I know. That's super old. This is old. Yeah. Those are released oh, a long that's time ago. Tiny. 
What iPhone is that? Five C, I believe. Yeah. Five colors. Or whatever. Yeah, they had five colors. Okay. Uh, you ready? Let's turn this bad boy on. I'm gonna press the button on top. I'm gonna look at it. Three, two, one, bam. Do the hold the power or hold the home button and the power button for 10 seconds, I think. Was it like a trick back in the day? Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I got I got to ask you. Are you guys, you guys missed the home button? I missed the home button. Yeah. My I, iPhone I 8 Plus was my favorite phone ever. Such a good phone. It yeah, work. it doesn't work, bro. <laughs> we got a charger right here. You're right. We have another See charger. charger. Cool, cool. I'm going to Yeah, but there must pocket. be a reason why. Wait, hold on. It would be... shh, shh. Bro. You heard that? There's still rustling in the damn trees over here. I mean, a lot of woods. This room really right. was woods, apparently, so I'm sure there's probably a ton of animals here. Why is there an iPhone and a couch in the middle of Hold on, hold well, on. Well, it's junk, this probably, right? Making sense. If it doesn't work, it's Yo, probably just on. junk. What did we use in the car? Was it Google Maps or Maps? I don't know. Uh, Google right there. Maps. Okay. Dude, what is this? Look at this. That's what I'm saying. It was like literally just woods. So this is Google Maps. I'm going to load up maps right now. Watch. Satellite. Bro, what? This is just a wooded area. It had to have been done recently then, right? This? I mean, yeah. They weren't updated that fast? Google I Maps or Maps? I mean, it's, it's pandemic. People aren't working. Maybe they, they can't get a guy to drive the car, you know? So we got a C. Is that an L? No, that's not no. That that's an F. Like, yeah. I mean, my middle initial is F. My first initial is C. That's kind of odd, right? Or know. is it for CJ Faison? Oh. CJ Faison. I we, mean, that's a, that's a huge long shot. But or is that, it totally not related? It could be either or. It could be literally not related yeah. at all. This is really neat. Really, really I mean, neat. That's really What's weird. on it? CF. There's just a bunch of random stuff all over, like little video games, like game and console. Huh. That's really odd. I don't know. It's like, I don't know, kind of homemade thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hey, babe, can you, um, we're going to keep all this just in case. What are your thoughts so far? I mean, I mean, that could literally be nothing. It could be totally unrelated. We got, I mean, maybe we should keep looking. You know what I mean? Because, yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, what the hell was that? What the hell was that? Look. Bro, what is that? I see anything. I don't know. You heard that, There's right? in the woods. There's something That's over definitely here. It. Look at all the junk, though. Does that make you think that might be like that Wendy's bag and then there might be like people or something in here? There's so much junk down here, bro. Yeah, dude, there's a lot of cereal. There, someone's probably living here. Cereal what? Huh? Fillers? Rice Krispies. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a horrible cereal. Back to differ. All right, yo. Um, first experience of the night, and we get something like this. Good start. Decent. Interesting. Um, Let me plug this uh, phone in. I'm going to... Here, let me pop the trunk quick. Who was that? I'm going to... What's up? Oh, I thought I saw a light back there. It's like a flashlight. I don't think it's anything. Can't wait to pick it up. Okay. Well, um, first experience of the night was pretty nice. Um, that wasn't too bad. Where at? You hear that though? Could be like a duck. I don't know. I'm kind of concerned about what I heard down there. Yeah. If there's people in there, I don't want to come and There might be people down here. He, bro, hold on. Like, you saw the maps. Like, clearly. Yeah. I want to be 100% honest with you. I think these, like, little letter things that you put on the wall are just junk. Like, the phone was old. Junk. Well, I don't letters. know. What do you think? Also that couch too. Yeah. The couch it is junk. It almost seems like this is, like, illegal dumping. The illegal is just dumping everywhere. Yeah, it's just like, oh, here's my shit. I mean, stuff's expensive. People don't want to pay. But it's really scummy. You should really pick up. I'm hearing a lot of stuff. Let's get back in the car. Let's see if this iPhone. There's a lot of noises. Yeah. 
So here is. This is a very. Here's crazy. What's that? The damn serial numbers I wiped off. But this is a legit iPhone. The serial numbers legit wiped off. Stolen? It could be stolen. It's probably worth twenty bucks these Hold days. Hold on. So. Do you have anything I could pop the SIM card thing out? Not with me. I had an earring or something. Jen, do you have your earring? I don't wear earrings. Good point. Chris, do you? I do, but I'm not wearing them. All right. There's only one solution. I have to go get my ear pierced. Yes. Yeah, so and then, and then I could take the earring out and pop okay, it. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Why would you need to? I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> After I give you LASIK. But why would you just? Buy an earring. I'm just kidding. No, I'll, I'll use I'll use the needle from the LASIK in the ear, and I'll pierce your ears. Perfect. And then we'll use the needle for the SIM card. Perfect. That's all I needed. Okay. It's it's not turning. I'm right. when the plants come together. Give it a sec. Maybe if I slam on the gas, it'll like charge More faster. Um, I mean, we could leave it plugged in for a while, see if it does anything. I don't know. It's not a bad idea, I guess. But usually it turns on pretty quick, you know. Whoa, it's got a headphone jack. I oh, know. It's pretty cool. Back in the days when we used to have those. Yeah. Well, we I'm going to leave this plugged in here for a little bit. Let's get the hell out of here because we're we're like literally on some new road or it's technically still in the woods apparently. Yeah. Oh my God. All right. So we're headed out of this uh, location that clearly something doesn't belong. And I really think it's us. I'm thinking we really think it doesn't belong here, you know? Yeah, you smell pretty bad for that. What? What? So, I say we keep playing. Do you? Bright and early. You said you saw a flashlight from this direction? I I don't know. There's lights out in this direction. It could have been nothing. Yeah. I'm not trying to be that super paranoid person. So I'm just yeah, no, but they, he, just drop it. here's just the thing, though. We came to Florida a couple months ago, and um, a lot of people are saying this is where, like, things really started to kick like into play for us with Scientology and with everything people are saying that like this is the origin of where we messed up you know where we went to uh, Tampa and we yeah, came yeah. across you know Scientology like you said you weren't scared of them maybe I, I might have said a couple of things yeah but the you thing is now, don't you? yeah and then it doesn't help the fact that we went to Clearwater Florida and we were walking around their buildings and again followed by all these SUVs and stuff I mean, like, yo, the video's there, guys. You can go watch that video for yourself. That's probably the scariest night of my life. I say that a lot, but that when I say this, like, I mean, I mean it with, like, I really thought that I was about to get, like, taken. I felt like one of those cars was going to pull up next to me and, like, six dudes hop out and just get you. put a potato sack on my head and just take me somewhere. I really thought it was going to happen. But, ah, man, I don't know. But we're finally back. And I think we're going to stay away from both Tampa and Clearwater. How about that? I told you I want to go, but whatever you want to do. I don't know. Oh, I'm so good. You guys are out of your goddamn minds. John's super into it. John wants to go. All right. Well, let me get out of this general area really quick, and then we're going to fire up Aeronautica again. Um, You want to find an intent on Twitter? Yeah, I'll look for it now. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, let me get out of this weird ass area that I'm in. Bro! A Wendy's! Okay, well... That makes sense for that Wendy's. Must have walked down or something. Yeah, it's got... It's, someone's definitely like walked down. Alright, cool. Awesome. Well, see you in a little bit then, guys. Peace. Alright, guys. Um, I believe we're going to call it a night. So, we've been rando nodding for three and a half hours right now at night. And only real i don't even know if you'd call it an experience that couch where we found the uh this little blue phone and the letters c and f now the letters could mean anything it's just odd that it's cj's initials and then on top of that the phone we just had it plugged in for quite some time did not turn on uh so that kind of blows but it is what it is uh it's, it's getting super late and the reason I'm actually filming this, I usually don't. I usually just cut to the next experience. But the reason I'm uh, filling you guys in right now is because tomorrow we're meeting back up with the Rando Nautica co-founder, Auburn, and the team of Rando Nautica. And we are going to be asking them a lot of questions. And the one question I really, really wanted to ask them is what happened to me when I when like the whole thing with the, the war jacket? Yeah. Because... 
Absolutely. Dude, it felt so weird. Like, I just, my mind went completely blank. Like, I just forgot all about this shit. And then well, Chris was showing me the video. We legitimately found this jacket, and I've been talking about it there. I've been talking about it in Nevada. Like, I feel like my, like, something just happened where my mind was just like, wow. You know what I mean? So, what do I know? Um, there's someone literally riding my ass right now. Thanks. Um, yeah. Maybe you just have short term memory loss. I don't know. And some people were commenting. They're like, maybe it's all those energy drinks. You, I, I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, there's no problem. Right? But, um, like I said, so what questions do you want to ask? Because we got a bunch. No, we absolutely have a ton. I just want to get, like, again, like the basics behind the app. I want to really break down more of it because she told us, you know, it's random numbers and algorithm, but I want to know, like, what the clusters of numbers are. I just, for myself, I want to know that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm just interested in it. But also, I want to know, like, our locations, how... Okay. How do we keep in front of these, like, these crazy, like, locations? The damn notes. The damn, like... Yeah. Like, what is that, bro? Like, because here's the thing. What happens in the time period where we go to all the busts? We call them busts, but what happens when we go to bust, to bust, to bust, to bust? That sounds so weird. And then out of nowhere, we get that one experience that's just like, ta-da. You know, so like, you wonder what happened in that period. Like, in that period, did they know that there was nothing that happened? And then all of a yeah. sudden, that gives the, like th these people whoever is doing it. Time. Say. I mean, like, is it? I want to really like, put this on her. Like, could it be a higher, more powerful being? Like, like Scientology. Entity? Maybe. Um, I wouldn't say they're an entity. I would just say they're, they're a cult. They're a cult. Yeah, absolutely. They're pieces of shit, and they should all become kind of it. Demonetization. But <laughs> I just, so what? I don't know. I don't know. Because I was reading a lot of people's questions, and they're very, very concerned. They're like. Are you guys really about to trust these people? Are you guys really like, you guys have been um, literally been followed and shit for months on end. Like, are you guys really about to trust these people? And yeah, that's that's fair to assume. But I mean, we've made it clear we don't think it's them doing it. It's right. just the logistics of it are not possible. No, absolutely not. Like, bro, to have, they'd have to be paying people hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to literally just plant these objects boxes etc etc at these locations like yeah. it just doesn't make sense like i almost wish it was them because then we'd have an answer i'm gonna pull over real quick i, I just um i, I really want to focus on this real quick um luckily there's a 7-eleven right here I, if we knew it was them we could just stop playing that like if that's we knew thing. that would be awesome like cool awesome absolutely absolutely but we'll that, that's the thing them. though we don't know and i don't know if we ever will because what is it we're 50 weeks in to playing this app yeah. we're about to be on like if you really want to call it a one-year anniversary but it, so many questions arise like we, we really went from trying to figure out the truth behind this app to really just uh, uh, oh, what was it cockroach no, you're lying good. yeah what? it was a bug though what's wrong on me? was it big it was not that big that's what she said was it a cockroach no but if you want me to catch one and bring it back for you, I gladly will. Oh, there you go. You're good. You're good right where you are. <laughs> so, I, that's I, I the thing. I just don't know, like, what they can say. Like, I don't know what they can tell us about See, higher powers. And, th and that's the thing a lot of people are saying, too. They're like, do you guys think that they're really going to give you the answers that you're looking for? Mm -hmm. Like, what if they just skate around your questions and stuff like that? And that, that's the thing. Like, obviously, like, they're probably going to be as transparent with us as they can there's obviously yeah. certain things that they can and cannot say. It's just like, what I want to do is I want to figure out some questions or mm -hmm. I want to figure out some answers to our questions. And then after that, like, all right, thank you so much. We're going to use this to better our knowledge while playing this app. Yeah. And let's go continue playing because I do, exactly. I do want to keep playing. Like we're experiencing some crazy shit and especially the last couple of months, this whole Valentino situation, but it's been wild and that it, it's been a while. It's kind of unexplainable, but maybe there's a reason why this stuff is happening or for a reason for why it's happening. We just want to get these answers. That, that's all we want is just some answers. But I, I know I said it earlier, but seriously, guys, I, I mean it. This, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. No other YouTuber has done this. 
it's 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 uh, an experience for us and for CJ and Sonny. That's it. And they they said that we are the only creators that they're going to be working with for yeah, probably uh, we we don't know, but f for the near future and it, it's us. It feels it feels good. It's, it's an honor. Honestly. It is an really honor, cool. and I feel I'm I feel grateful for it. But I wanted to say since we have this opportunity, if you have any questions that have been bothering you for the longest time, this is your chance right now. Leave them down in the comment section and just let us know. Yeah. Like I said, we're going to be meeting them tomorrow, but not only tomorrow, the next day and the day after. Um, and we're not meeting them for like hours on end. We're, we're going to be with them for like yeah. 30 minutes to an hour and that's it. All right. Well, um, I'm going to stop blabbering. I'm going to go fill up some gas since I am at 7-Eleven. Might as well, right? And then we're going to head sleep. back and um, get some sleep, get a really good night's sleep. I fell asleep last night at 5.30 in the morning editing the first video. Here's your bum. And then I woke up at 8, which is great. Fantastic. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling amazing, which is why these energy drinks are hitting me so hard. Yeah. So with all that being said, guys, man, I'm super excited for this interview tomorrow. It's going to be cool. Um, they're just good people. Like From what we talked to them, they're really, really nice. Yeah, they're cool. They're cool. Well, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go let's ahead go. home. Let's go pump gas first. What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Rando Nautica video. I'm here with my buddy Chris, but I'm also here with the Rando Nautica team and the co-founder of Rando Nautica, Auburn. Okay. Where's we got going? some things to talk about today, guys. Yeah, we do. Um, the first thing I want to cover before it leaves my mind, because that's how my mind works. Um, the actual reason why we called you in the first place to set up like the whole Zoom call meeting was to cover a topic where we found a jacket. It was a US Air Force jacket and it had the name Ward on it. It was, people were saying it was from the 70s, 80s. There's a whole thing that goes into it, right? Mm -hmm. The thing is, we found this jacket a while ago. We found this a couple weeks ago. It was in Maryland, it was in the Pokemon. It, it was in Maryland. And whatever happened, happened, and we found it again. But this time, I don't know what happened to me, and I, I want your opinion on this because I don't know if I'm literally going well, crazy. I don't know if, yeah. if there's something know. wrong with me. I really, I really want to know because. Do you want to let them know like like how this whole like from Vegas, how we took it? So we found the jacket in Maryland in the Pokemon Forest, and then we took it to Las Vegas because we keep everything with us because this, there's a lot going on in this Valentino story, and we're trying to kind of piece this all together like a puzzle, and. His bag got searched in TSA. I have the TSA search label yeah. right over there. But it happened in Las Vegas, and we had items go missing. So we had a, a set of Fiat keys, we had a map, and we had the jacket. They went missing in Nevada. So essentially, then... yeah, we found these items together. So to put it all together, we found these items together. And I remembered everything except that jacket. Chris and I came across that jacket again, and Chris started freaking out. I had no idea what was going on. I couldn't remember this jacket. I couldn't for the life of me remember this jacket. Chris pulled up the YouTube video that we recorded that I edited myself. I edit my own videos and I couldn't remember this jacket. So I genuinely was starting to get concerned. People in the comments were like, Jazz, we're getting worried for you. Um, so I wanted to talk to you about this. Mm -hmm. Like, has this ever happened before? Is like, should I be worried <laughs> about something? <laughs> I mean, like, is it the monsters he drinks every day? I don't know. Or, or is this like some type of like weird phenomenon almost, you know what I mean? Because I want to ask you, being that you're the co-founder of Rano Nautica, like what, what's your like outlook on this? Okay, well, not to ask a question to a question. Right. But what does it feel like for you? Like, does it feel weird? I, 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 I'm concerned. I, I, I'm genuinely concerned. Oh, I'm 23. And yeah, like no, the thing not, is like... I don't know. This is the first time I've ever, ever experienced something like this. And as time has went on, Chris and I have been talking. Chris has been refreshing my memory, obviously. Yeah. I feel like I'm starting to really get into it. But it's just, people are getting mad at me in the comments. People were like, Jazz, how? How? You were freaking out about this a couple weeks ago. And now... I was pissed when that happened. I was like, oh, you were swearing something. I didn't understand like how you could not remember that. So I wanted to ask if, like, is this important. some type of, like... People are referring it to as like a Mandela effect kind of thing. Is this like, have you ever heard of anything like this? Okay, this isn't the first time I've heard of something like this. Okay. You're not crazy. Mm. 
I mean, no, I, that's reassuring. Yes. <laughs> you're light on that. Okay, okay. Crazy, maybe I don't know you well enough yeah. to make that claim okay. necessarily. Cool, cool. Thanks. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I trust Chris over you, but he's okay. <laughs> just for now, because okay. really, this is like, I mean, we had to get. This is like a trust level that we're just gaining. Oh, like, absolutely. Is a, yeah, you're right. Okay, understand. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like good. we're working into this. Yeah, no, you can tell me because we're easy. coming from a long stretch, almost a year now. Oh yeah. Of kind of like this, who are you? Who's Randonautica type of vibe, right? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I feel as if there's some kind of like a little bit of tension almost. Yeah. And maybe some but, animosity. Yeah. Yeah, a little no, bit, a little we're bit, getting but, through it. The white claws are helping. Yeah. Well, why Cheers. are you guys sending like, your like white vans after okay. us? We're trying to figure out. <laughs> Those white vans? Yeah, why are you guys sending those after us? They're not white vans. Yeah, no, we don't we don't send white vans, and we don't send people or anything. And you know, we're getting through that. Yeah. And I think I think like, okay, before we get into your severe memory loss, which is Thanks. which is, you're gonna feel better after we talk about it. You will. I, I feel like I'm at a consultation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but first, let me tell you. Okay, cool, cool. No, I think um, I'm really glad to like be here with you guys and mm -hmm. be in person. And uh, I think we're like getting through our Andonautica debacle and everything. And uh, I appreciate you guys like wanting to learn more about it. Yeah. And I'm kind of sad that it took uh, Jazz losing his mind to actually. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it finally came to this. In person. It was, it but that's also. okay. It's okay. Yeah. I'm here and that's good. Um, so on behalf of Randonautica, uh, you don't have Alzheimer's. Thank <laughs> I'll you. tell you that. It's that. not a certified answer, but uh, I'm not. A, I'm not a <laughs> clinical type. It's not clinically diagnosed. But um, okay, to be honest, uh, there have been a, lo a lot of people who have actually had this happen. Like I don't want to joke with you too much about it because I know what it's like to like. <sighs> there's this weird thing that happens with Brianonautica. We're dealing with like this uh, quantum space. And I know people hear the word quantum, they're like, oh, it's such an overused buzz buzzword. But like literally we're using a quantum random number generator, which right. is a source of entropy. And entropy is just this thing that people have messed with over many, many years to see if like consciousness can have an effect on reality and what happens when you start, um, start playing with uh, this type of technology, right? Okay. So, do you have a little bit of time warp happening? Maybe. Okay. Is there some something that goes on when you go outside of where you're supposed to be and you go to a totally random place and you have this experience? It's entirely possible that you could have, like, created this, like, hyperloop into a Mandela effect in your life. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, so should we take my friend to the clinic? Like, does he need to get checked out? Or is he all right? No, I don't think you should. I think okay. Honestly, no, mental health is not anything to joke about. I want to make that very clear. Like, mental health is a serious oh, thing. Oh, right, I don't right, want right. to think that. Like, but he really did forget something that happened within like a couple weeks. So that to me is like, are you good? That's what we're having. This I don't, that's what I'm saying. No, I'm just making sure. So maybe yeah, you no, could explain. I, I mean, like, I, that's why I asked because like. Obviously, you regulate a lot of stuff. Like you are the co-founder of this app. You know, not I'm, a doctor, I'm but not a doctor. Yes, but, but a co-founder. Yeah. I'm this sure you get story experiences all the time. Pro probably emails upon emails and Reddit posts upon Reddit posts. I, I just wanted to ask you: Has am I the only one, or is this like that's what I'm trying to touch up on? No, I I mean over the course of the past year and having like millions of people using Randonautica, we have had reports where people had strange like super bizarre experiences they couldn't correlate time how long they were somewhere uh memories that they should have seem a little distorted or foggy and we don't necessarily know why they reported that but we know it's happened and it and we've we we have that 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 has definitely been an occurrence so um it's uh rare it i don't know what's what's going on Okay. Um, Is it too early to rule out aliens? You know, you can never rule out aliens, <laughs> okay, cool. actually. I'm just sure. Like, I'm just who can thing. actually ever rule out aliens from anything? Like, <laughs> well, okay, so I get I get that side of things. I, I, I'd hate to ask you this question, but I feel like we've kind of opened up to each other a little bit. We've kind of cleared the air. And I want to apologize to you guys really quick, because in the last couple of videos, Chris and I probably did seem a little bit off, and I, I see your comments for sure. I just want to touch base that Chris and I have had our guard up 
for the past couple of days, uh, weeks even. Yeah, just because of and, everything. Yeah, th there's just a lot. Like, I've this is the first time we're meeting in person, obviously, mm -hmm. and it's after everything that's happened. You know, I have trust issues. It to, like I, I I have a hard time like trusting literally like before meeting anybody like I, I it's a bad trait to have but it's just how I am and like after sitting down and like actually having this conversation I, I'm kind of trusting you a little bit more so I want to ask you now um it's such a such a oh no the pictures Chris the pictures of yeah. us pictures of us pictures of CJ um, the notes we're finding, handwritten notes that are like literally directed to us when we're going to these random nautical points. Like th that's what people want to know, and that's what I'm mean. like. I don't want to dodge these questions anymore. I, I want to get straight to the point. I want to ask you how, like how how is like, this happening? Like, okay, yeah, so tell me what's going on. You're going, you're you're generating a point, and then you're going there, and you're finding so crazy stuff. We're using like because we've started like we found a phone, and we found out about these people, these Valentinos, and Julia Ketterman. So we're kind of using intense and we want to find more information about this because we've had these crazy things happen where, you know, people yelling in the woods and these cars following us. And again, it's not Auburn, it's not Reno Nautica, but like, what is your, like, do you, like, I don't know, I'm just curious, like what you think it could be or how this could be happening that they're like getting to these points ahead of us and we're getting these locations. It's just, again, something we get a lot. It's like we have this giant like triangle love story going on. Like we went to Nevada and found more pieces of the puzzle. We went to the Pokemon Forest, we came home. And everywhere we've gone, we have announced our location before we went, which is something that may or may not Smooth relate. Smooth move, guys. Yeah, but when you're going to Las Vegas, you're not excited <laughs> yeah. to like go yeah. gamble like a hundred bucks away or yeah. ten grand. You guys have like savings. hundreds of thousands of fans <laughs> and you're just like, we're on our yeah, way here right now. Here. But this okay. is the first trip that we haven't announced that we've been really, really low key about it. And we and haven't had any issues. Well, well actually, actually mine, cool. mine in the car, mine in the car. But we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about that. That's a different story. For different okay, yeah, so yeah. we've been really good about this. We've had no issues. We haven't had anything really crazy happen. We didn't say we were going. So mm -hmm. that's just... We're trying, seems, we're trying to make like this a, make sense. Seems like a variable, but yeah. yeah, okay. Absolutely. So I don't know. I'm... I mean, okay. If you want, like, clearly there's many logical answers for your guys' situation. Like, I don't know. You could have a stalker that's one of your fans that's like yeah. being and like playing. In, I truly do think do that, that could be possible. Like that, literally, 100%. like you. They're not a fan then. I mean, I've yeah, it's not really a fan. Like, <laughs> okay. just us, yeah, or... like someone in your community could be obsessed. I I have no idea. Yeah. Like there there are lots of reasons why the things that are happening could be happening just in like a real world aspect. But the other thing is that you guys are dealing with like quantum entropy and like you're dealing with a very powerful tool that is like made to manifest your ideas and your thoughts. And if you are out there trying to attract those type of things, then maybe you're pulling it in to what okay. what's happening. Um, I, mean, I, I just know it's not it's not me yeah and it's not my co-founder josh yeah, it's and not it's not team. anybody on our 10 person team like yeah, we're it's... across the globe and no one's getting in an, a helicopter to come and okay uh, see, uh, we see some helicopters that's so the thing because sure. cj and i we live about seven and a half hours away from each other we it, it's extremely difficult for us to even film together sometimes because if we want to plan something ahead we really have to go sometimes weeks ahead to just plan a trip so, for it to happen to both CJ, then to me in the same night, and then, that's the thing I'm trying to like understand here, How, and I'm gonna double up on my previous question, if it's, it is like, just, let's just say this crazy fan, or not even want to say fan, but let's just say it's this obsessed person, right? Clearly is obsessed with Chris, clearly is obsessed with me. Is the word you're looking for, um, maybe like a, starts the nest? <laughs> Sounds like... Sounds like a sounds like a walker, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's, so, yeah. let's just say we did have a stalker, right? Yeah. Okay. I guess my question here is, how in the hell are they coming to these locations prior to us if we're using the app? I, that's the one. I'm just trying to find like a logical thing here because if we're generating a point and then we drive directly there. Within ten minutes, most of the so, time, you know. So it's. That, I guess that's the one thing I'm just like wondering, you know. I, I that's but that's what I've been wondering since day one. It's been fifty yeah. weeks now, you know. So. Okay, it's well, it's not random Nautica. Okay. Cool. I know that for sure. That's that's that's, that's, a, that's a very easy answer. Okay. Right. But like, how weird can stalkers get, you guys? Like. Yeah, they're 
Like what? I mean, really, there have been like stories. lifetime stories about stalker situations. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, what yeah. if you guys actually have? Yeah. I don't, I, mm-hmm. I don't know enough about everything that's going on yeah. in the whole thing to it's, to like really. It's not white vans and white trucks. It's like just these things that we find. That's like a note or a card that CJ found that said like "Good luck, you'll need it." Like like little vague things we that kind of make you really think about what's going on around. Right you. there, I we found that laptop in New York. It has a picture of CJ on the laptop. A, yeah, a yeah. picture of CJ and a girl. It's from like 2014. He said I was at a wedding. He brought this girl, Julia, which ties her whole story. It all comes full circle. You know, this Julia girl. And like, that's the whole thing. I'm, like, it, it sounds more like a stalker, like, experience rather than a random nautic experience. Mm-hmm. Truly, it does. Someone got hooked and... I don't, know, I don't know if any of us know the answers. That's the thing. Like, there really not, might not be an answer. We might not understand, like, a bigger power. We might have made someone upset that's more powerful than we know someone with like a lot of money I don't know I'm, I just feel like we're digging like a deeper hole with like this whole thing like the more yeah. we keep doing it mm-hmm. the further we go down the, the deep end with it yeah. so like and we don't know what they yeah. want we're like what do these people want from us at the end of the day right, that, okay so then just I'll play into that for a second okay even though this is not something that I would this is not the truth necessarily but it's just like okay I'm a I like to think about all possibilities because part of Rain and Annika is thinking about like anything could exist, right? Like we want to think very big. Okay. And I I will say like it could be it could be weird, although very unlikely. But maybe with how big of an audience you guys have and how much traction you've gotten and the popularity and whatnot over the past almost year, that there are people that don't want you to, you know, be out doing what you're doing and yeah, no, absolutely. It's, and I want to say jealousy, but I mean, people that are like, they're out traveling, doing stuff. Well, that, that's why yeah. a lot of the times when I say, like, we do these things so, like, the normal rando not doesn't have to, you know? We will do the morbid intense. Yeah. So the I rando- appreciate that you guys say that, yeah. too. And that's only because... For, for, once we've started yeah. talking more, that's been... But good. the people ask for that. Like, we don't, we really don't want to go out and do these, like, weird... You know, things. We want to just do normal stuff. I say it all the time. The first random nautical video we ever did, it was Chris, me, and my girlfriend right here. And we went and we had n- little to no information on this app. We just jumped right in, downloaded it, generated points. So at the end of the video, I go, hey guys, you want us to keep playing this? Let me know down in the comment section below. What intense do you want me to use? And out of nowhere, it's like, I want you to use murder. I want you to use death. Missing people. I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, it's I'm like, guys. Though. I don't want to find this, you know, yeah, like, I don't yeah. want to experience this. Yeah, and yeah. that's actually why a big part of it is why Chris and I are doing this to make our community happy. We want to make you guys happy. That's what we're here for. And honestly, it's a big part of why I don't bring my girlfriend along on these journeys anymore because we get into some really deep shit sometimes. We have to come across some, I don't want her experiencing stuff like that. I know you guys are always like, where's Jen? How come Kayla's not in the videos? Uh, like, all these things. This is some deep shit sometimes. And like, I, I don't want... Like, we're taking this responsibility upon ourselves, and especially now, like, where it's gotten to is kind of like a... It's uncomfortable. It's super uncomfortable. And I guess that's what I just wanted to clear up with you, and I I am a a bit more understanding now, a lot more understanding now. Um, I guess I wanted to ask you, do you have any questions for us? Or, Chris, do you have anything you want to add on to this? So essentially, like, this could be just, like, there's agencies and things out there with a lot of power and lots of money that in theory could be watching what we do, keeping track of it, and who's to say that they're not into our phones if they have enough power and the technology to do it. I don't know. Um, and you've told us before that these agencies may or may not have experimented with this technology before. Like, this technology is not brand new. Like You guys just start the That's app and give the people, right? like yeah. us having it in our hands is brand new, but the actual concept of it and seeing it work in person is not. in you can look this up up online. It goes back a ways away, right? That, so. Yeah, no, that's exactly right. I mean, we're dealing with mind-matter interaction, which is the idea that, like, your mind can have an influence on the matter around you. And there have been studies that go back to the 60s and 70s. The yeah. uh, Princeton had a really good research group called the Pear Research Project. There's the Global Consciousness Project. Like, yeah. different agents, uh, well, not necessarily agencies, but organizations that try to figure out what's going on with yeah. consciousness, right? Absolutely. And so maybe agencies didn't want those things to get out. Yeah. And that's just a complete hypothetical for me, but mm-hmm. it's a it's a it's a possibility, sure. Like we're a very small group and we're putting out a mass, you know, app that anyone 
across the globe can use and it's doing something that has never been done at this scale before so yeah. i mean maybe we can't, we can't rule anything out at the end of the day you, it could be you well, can't rule we some things out we've ruled out like the, the big things that we me. know it's you not you we can 100 rule out that, rule that i'm that not stalking random you guys. official is not stalking us but <laughs> other people could be coming trying to get us and stop us so from so doing just this to confirm, so. like you're not paying people to like plant boxes like in the middle of the woods and sh like i just want to confirm oh no do you oh. think that's what i would do if i was paying people i'd probably like <laughs> pay people to, like give flowers to like old ladies or something like that like something okay. cute you know well this well, no i don't want i wouldn't freak people uh, out i'm a pta mom like so we <laughs> we plant boxes but they're like cute graduation boxes for kindergarten see that's the thing everyone says it too they were like when we think of like a c or a co-founder or just ceo right they think of like someone who's always in a suit, who's in the yeah. 50th floor of like a skyscraper. Yeah, yeah. and a lot of people did mean. think that at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Uh, really, like we I had did. so I many conspiracies when we first happened, like like happened around the world and like really took off. People thought we were the Illuminati. We're um, a part of the CIA. The NSA is tracking you. We are, uh, we're stalkers. We're, oh gosh, way too many to name, right? Right. And so what you guys thought was really in line with yeah. what everybody thought. Well, we haven't met Josh yet, so I mean, I don't know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm joking. Stop. Yeah, you know, jo cool Josh is a quantum hippie. He's yeah, like he such so a cool, cool dude that yeah, just like, Josh. he's like, I, I just want people to get out and enjoy the adventure we, in we, life. Hopefully it does. Like again, Florida's been good so far. Um, I we mean, can a say lot Florida of that plays into now. because we didn't tell anybody where we were going. Yeah, yeah so we think that's a big piece of the... So, I mean, I guess that kind of just shows it right there. And I'm going to touch base with you on what happened uh, two nights ago, actually, in a little bit. But every time we went on a trip, if we were going to Vegas, we would hype it up for weeks. Guys, we're going to Vegas with CJ, and we're going we're gonna to do this and that. You would think that would give the people who are messing with us so much more time to do whatever the hell they want to do to us. And then all of a sudden, we say, this is the first time ever. We don't tell anybody where we're going, and we end up going to somewhere we were just at kind of playing some reverse psychology there, right? Mm -hmm. And nothing's really happened to us since, but that's kind of where I wanted to start at. Um, two nights ago, and I, I swear up and down on this, like I, this was terrifying, legitimately terrifying. Like Chris was, Chris, me and Chris do a lot of dumb things. I mean, you guys know. And Chris was doing this thing with his, uh, with the, <laughs> Car remote. I like being annoying. So yeah. I just like I'm annoying. So he starts setting the alarm off. Uh, it's really to, loud. to get me out of the shower to help me. Like uh, I don't know, whatever. And he keeps turning the car, uh, the alarm, locking like, it, it, unlocking yeah. it, locking it, unlocking it. And I'm, I was like, at this point, I was already a towel around me, and I'm like, I gotta go see like what's going. Is anyone like, is security here, whatever? And I go out there, and just like this, see somebody. And we have a. I'll say it right now because we're about to leave. We have a Kia Fort or yeah, something yeah. like that, a black Kia Fort. And all I see is legs. And a, someone in like the car like this in the center console doing whatever. That's what? what I have. That's what I have. Yeah. Oh I'm not even joking. So I swear to God. <laughs> and the next thing is, I'm like to myself, it's a Kia Ford. Kia is one of the most popular manufacturers of cars in the world. And it, it's a newer car. Rental companies rent these cars out all the time. I was just playing devil's advocate. I go back in, I change, I do my hair, all this stuff. We go out with all the camera gear and stuff, and Chris unlocks the car. And it's the car that was parked there where the person was going through it. Yeah. Luckily, none of our stuff was in this car. L literally, the only thing that was in there was Jen's charger that was plugged into the um, Apple CarPlay slot. If our stuff was there, it probably could have got Might taken. Have or... Wait, is my charger still there? It is still yeah, there. Like, <laughs> well, we were just saying, we, we didn't know, like, it, it could have been another Kia. Yeah, it could have yeah. been, like, a, a car that looked just like it or something, but it was in the exact spot. We both... Yeah. We're trying to figure I, this out. At first, I thought it was CJ, because CJ, as you guys know, we do dumb things. CJ takes it to another level. Yeah. And then you put us together, it's kind of, yeah, it's like a circuit. He took our windshield uh, wipers off one time and, like, put them he, in our door. He handles. took our windshield wipers on. Yeah, that was the last time we were in Florida. During yeah, a rainstorm. Yeah. And when I turned the, the windshield wipers on, I was scratching the windshield. Like, oh, yeah. no. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> um, I, that's the thing, though, here is, like, it's almost as if we do this shit to ourselves. By Chris doing the stupid shit that he was doing with the car keys, it's almost like we attracted someone to just whatever. I don't know what they were doing. Oh, there, there's no excuse off. for doing that. that, that that's I, was a doing, crime. I was doing it every like five to ten seconds, so like, it was they, definitely they, annoying. But I think your car was unlocked. I mean, you they kept grabbed it. Unlocking. It was. I was doing it, like a consistent like beep, and then I would make it so it would go beep like every like couple seconds, like for probably a minute. Okay. I was, like, I was being annoying. Okay. Yeah. Kind of annoying. Him. So I don't know if they thought maybe they could shut it off. I was locking and unlocking the door, so it would be, I, I don't know. 
I have no idea. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. And when so we play Randonautica... you guys Randonautica, are tracking some pretty weird stuff. When like, we play yeah, Randonautica and we're, we're manifesting, <laughs> the shit we do, um, yeah. it kind of like makes sense when we're and I, yeah. brought to some of the shit we are. I, almost... uh, I just want to thank you guys for letting me be a part of your world for a second because I, I was really nervous to like step into all this. Yeah. You have such like, like a dedicated community. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. That yeah. Is, okay. Yeah. Also, you guys are pretty weird, but um, <laughs> like, no, like people love you and they want you to be safe yeah. and, um, and they care about you guys a lot. And so I think there was a lot of misconception, which is normal. A lot of people have that at the very beginning of Randonautica. They yeah. didn't know who we were and what was behind it. They didn't know me or Joshua or any of our very small team. Yeah. And so basically like what you took out of it was what everyone else did too. Like who are these people yeah. and what are they doing? Why are these weird things happening, right? right. Yeah. And so um, through that process, I think like you guys established a really big community that wanted you to be safe and yeah cared about you and I uh, was afraid to step in front of them and be like, yo, it's not me. <laughs> like, I'm not yeah. that person. No, and we, I'm not the one that's out there yeah. doing any of this and I have no idea what's going on with what it, what your Randonautica experience is. I just know that Randonautica can get very weird and like it's a part of, you know, the whole yeah. thing. High that's strangeness. I just want to say, first off, thank you so much. And I do want to say this community is amazing. Literally the best community ever. I, I You guys seriously are the most caring like group of people I've ever met. Um, I just want to say <laughs> that th this conversation was awesome and it did clear a lot of things up for us, but yeah. Chris okay. and I are about to go back to New York and the same <laughs> shit that we're experiencing is gonna keep happening yeah. because it's just it's just what we bring. Like it's that, like you said, it's that energy. It's that, it's that what we're manifesting. And when we asked you guys what you want us to, oh my dear God. Yeah, go, go out and manifest, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to say anymore. I don't know. Like, I, yeah, I don't want to bring it to Stuff my, that uh, we shouldn't do. Like, stuff, now, now, now what the app was made for and developed for. Right. So, and and I, I it was to all... find like treasure and like wonderful, great yeah. things. I, I can it's vouch for this. I truly stuff. can. And you will see it soon. You will see it on their channel. I will link that down in the description. Yeah, that was you will literally wild. see this. They they brought us on a, I want to say positive, but it was kind of a neutral uh, Randonautica experience. Neutral is a good word. It was almost in our, and, our realm. It was pretty close to what we yeah. normally yeah, do. Yeah, it's yeah. something that we would normally do, but we had a lot of good energy in this. We, Chris and I weren't like in the car at three in the morning, like, you ready, bro? <laughs> All right, let's start the camera. Let's manifest death. We were literally really, really good vibes, and we manifested something crazy. You will see this soon. I am very grateful to both of you for letting me just pop into this this space. Like which is you. not yeah. what I expected you're doing, but yeah. I'm here. And um, yeah, thank you so much. And let me talk to your community and everything and kind of yeah. set the record straight on stuff. So Very yeah. Good. And fun. I want to say thank you to you guys for making this happen. Thank you for supporting us for such an incredibly long time and, and being there for us through thick and thin. And I, like I say, I always say the greatest community in the world. And I mean, we're literally sitting here with the random Nautica team. Like, it's so, so mind blowing to me still. We didn't think I'd ever come to this. It, it literally. I, I had no clue that this would ever happen. I just thought you guys were really trying to like burn us down and like at the stake. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it, it came Stop to a point where I was go. going to get groceries and I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was just worried for my life. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you guys are amazing. I, and I want to say thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for yeah. making this happen. Yeah. I want to keep playing because here's the thing. My. What I love the most is the amount of abandoned buildings and abandoned structures and all these cool locations that we've been brought to. Yeah. Literally, I have like a memory scrapbook of all these pictures that we've gone to. And it, it means a lot to me. I'm going to look back at this in a couple of years and it's amazing. And a lot of these don't make the videos because nothing happens at them. The ones that do, as you guys know, our channel is based on a lot of scary stuff because that's what you guys like to watch. I don't, I'm never, ever, ever going to put something in a video that you guys don't want to watch. That's why we have behind the scenes where we put things on there that normally wouldn't make the main channel. So like the positive stuff or just yeah, th things that really like cool locations, but nothing happens. There. Exactly. Yeah, so just, so that, we didn't know it existed. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe the, it's not that nothing happens. They're more like no. meaningful experience. Meaningful, meaningful to us. Yeah. That might not mean a lot it's, that's the thing. See, it's we so weird. Like, like I, I just want to say like when you use it in like a positive way, it's super, I was super relaxed. I had the biggest sunburn in the world and I was in so much pain, but I was, in, I was enjoying the ride. I was enjoying what was going on. And it just goes to show, and a lot of people do comment that as well. They're like, well, 
how come when I play Rand Nautica, I, I don't come across so and so that Chris and I do. They say that they come across things that we actually do experience. It, it, exactly. it goes to show the proof is in the pudding right there. You know, it's 100%. We, we want, we, we're not, obviously, we want people to get out and try this because I'm not going to sit here and say, don't they have play it. But like, if you guys have time, like, see what you can find because it, it really is powerful. Like, cool stuff can happen. We saw it yesterday firsthand. We've seen it the whole time we've played. Like, we don't always on camera manifest like the crazy stuff. Sometimes we just do like the unknown or something that doesn't belong. Mm -hmm. And we found some crazy, like jazz always started, like the channel kind of started with like abandoned ex urban exploration. We found some awesome abandoned buildings we didn't know existed. And like, we were actually within an brought, hour from us. We were brought to the abandoned mall that I started my channel yes. at like Literally 50 had. times. I recorded it maybe th in three round Nautica videos, but I'm like, Chris, we, got, we can't keep doing this. They're gonna get so bored of this. It keeps bringing us back in there. That's called a persistent anomaly. That's like right. it'll so like keep the, the, the yeah, same spot will keep happening over and over again. Because like you, you're tied to it, so yeah, it like just keeps absolutely. manifesting itself, and yeah. we don't know what we don't know. We literally like, have no the idea. The word Charlestown Mall means a lot to people who watch the channel. They, they, it does. So then that's happened a lot. That, I, I've been saying it for weeks now. Even I've, I've been saying it for months now. There, I see the comments. I see a lot of people saying, "There's no way this is happening. There's no way that's happening. There's no way Rando Nautica works like that." Try it. Try it. Try it. Maybe change your mind. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say. I've been saying it for months now. This isn't like anything like that, but. I, I, it just, it's still so much for me, and I'm, I'm still trying to like grasp everything about this app. It's pretty damn crazy, and yeah, this is um, good. I mean, this is a good. I think this is a really good talk. Like I, hopefully, like we can get on Zoom calls more often when we have things happen, and we can talk and discuss. Because it's always good to bounce what happens and kind of maybe get understanding of what happens from someone who's more professional than we are, who's probably played longer and more than we have, and hearing your theories about things yeah. is cool, and for the people too to. I don't know, come up with their own ideas. Yeah, okay, that was really well put. Thank you. That's why I say it. Thank and you. thank you guys again so much. Glad to clear the air on all of this. And I'm glad we got to go random nodding together. I'm excited yeah. for people to see what that's like. Yeah. And maybe we'll yeah. go in a little bit. It's getting dark. We're going to take you out of your element, maybe. Are we going to do that? I'm I actually, know. I forgot that that was happening. We don't have I'm to, super I mean, we'll, scared. We'll, but... check, we'll check our calendar in the store. We'll see okay, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what it's like. It's that. a possibility. Yeah. That's a. It's going to be up to you. All right, well, so. Kevin from Twitter wants us to manifest death. So <laughs> it's, oh, it's entirely up to you. I'm so sorry, Kevin. That's absolutely not happening. No, absolutely not. Okay, but no, we can manifest uh, uh, butterflies from Rebecca. <laughs> cool. So no one ever says that to you. Does anyone ever no, say it? No, never. No. So what you guys just watched was a conversation that we had with the co-founder of Rando Nautica, and it went pretty well. Um, we didn't necessarily get the answers that we wanted. We kind of wanted to figure out who is this, who is messing with us, who is leaving these pictures of us behind, who's following us, all this shit, right? Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Um, a lot of you guys are wondering why some of your questions weren't answered and some of them had to be cut out or things had to be cut out for obvious reasons. Yeah. And um, I hope you guys respect that. But, um, yeah. I mean, we did what we could. We asked what we were allowed to ask. Um, we asked who's stalking us are you yeah. guys stalking us are, is our phones hacked are you hacking us like we asked what you guys primarily wanted we couldn't really go into specifics on certain topics and there's obvious reasons for that absolutely legally i mean they're a business they represent you know a legal entity they can only say so many things so but i do um, want to say it's craziest shit ever um after this chris jen and i went to go play some more rando nautica right and this is where things get insane after this happened we did not play rando nautica in florida anymore we went home no. we're here we're yeah. back home now back home. so uh, what you are about to watch is what happened down in florida and how everything ended it's one of the craziest things that we've experienced and it really really just proves that we are being followed we are being tracked someone is after us yeah so stay safe out there folks with all that being said guys take a look all right, guys, so we're about to fire up Aeronautica again. It's getting super late. <laughs> I just, um, pretty upset about this one. We were just brought to this, like, here. You want to show up, Chris? Yeah. It's like this school area, but there's a gate. It's locked. But look over here. So, we were supposed to go all the way back, like, through the gate past the track and like into the woods back there and there's so much woods dude 
Like, look at that. That's insane. And this is like, this is like our part of like, this is what we do, you know? So I was like, all right, whatever. This kind of sucks, but let's continue. Um, and I found this intent from Mr. Together. Thank you so much for submitting a bunch of intents, actually. But I'm going to pick the one. Um, Jen liked this one. It was unanswered questions. That's the one that we're going to use. So I'm going to fire up Rainonautica right now. And let's try this again. So unanswered questions. Um, okay. We're not having the best luck here in Florida. Uh, we'll do avoid. And let's go. So... Unanswered questions. unanswered questions, unanswered questions, unanswered questions. I had to double check because my mind's like, it's been like, a long night. Back in school, we had to say tasks, and I always had like two or three unanswered questions. Was that your phone? No. That wasn't your phone. No. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard that too. Hold on, let me roll the window up. I thought it was just your phone ringing sound. What was that though? Hold on, hold on, we'll just listen. I got the location, but... Hold on. You hear that again, right? Yeah, bro. Okay. Um, where is that coming from? Though? Jen, can you give me the, the flashlight car? in the bag? Yeah. No. It should be in the side of the bag. Oh, wait. My bag's in the trunk. In the trunk. Shit. Oh. Do you think there's something wrong with the car? Like, is that like a thing to like... I don't know if that's a car noise, is it? Oh, oh. Don't, don't do that. Adult hits. That's weird. How do I like check if there's something wrong with the car? Uh, it tells you, doesn't it? That would sound like something's wrong with the car. It's not, yeah, it's not like something. I just... Wait, what? There's storage on this car? Oh, here's where I'm Um... I'm gonna hop out real quick. Why? Bro, I don't know. That... I feel like I heard that sound before. Ah. Well, like what? It's not, this phone doesn't work. This is the phone we found last night. I won't turn it around. I got the flashlight. Okay. Bro, I don't see anything, I don't know. What's up? Here. You think it's back there? Oh, John thinks it's in the back. What's up? John thinks it's in the back. It's in the car, you said? Dang. She needs a flashlight. What the hell? That's not a pop pop. That might be Jen's. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, said, you said you heard it in the car? Could it be? I don't know. Dude, I don't know. Yo, like, what would literally, it be? hold on, hold on. Can we talk about something quick? You've been hearing things like all day long. Like, you're like, bro, what is that? Like, I hear like some type of beeping. What? This! What? It's a tile, tile. tracker, bro. That's one of those little. Hold on, sorry. It's a tracking device. It's John, a, you can use that to track anything from you, a phone anywhere around the anything, world. Anything, anything. Where'd you find that? Where, where'd you find that? It was like right in between here. Bro, someone was in our car yesterday. Oh my someone god. Someone was in our car yesterday. Oh, that's right. Somebody was in our car yesterday. The sound, that's it. That's exactly it. That's it. Somebody, that's it, that's it. I thought there was something wrong with the damn car. What? Someone, wasn't Hold someone on. was in the car. Someone did this, bro. Oh, I forgot about that. Someone was in the car. I'm so mad we don't have that video. Like, to see that person. Throw that fucking thing in the lake, bro. We cannot have that with us. What'd you say? No, no, this is not a coincidence. This is like personal like, shit. Literally, that was like, we didn't even talk, like, that was just random, I it, thought. Completely random. I was in the shower. That was not Randonautica. 
Someone set us up. We're being tracked. 100%. We're being tracked. Our car's tracked. We're being tracked. We're being followed. No matter what we do, we're being followed, bro. On the way here, that car was riding our ass. Should I destroy it? For like 15 minutes. Like... Can you? Or... Well, those have like batteries in them. Dude, I got one of those for my girlfriend one time, so she wouldn't lose her keys, and she lost the tile dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What's that? We don't have it. No, we're getting rid of that. We're going to destroy it, or we're going to get rid of it 100%. I don't want to be the guy to toss something in a lake. I really don't. But like... All right, well, there's... Somewhere we can throw it out or something. I don't know. Can we just leave it like right here? Can we just leave it and be gone? We leave it? What do you think? I definitely don't want this. I don't want this at all. Hold on. Yeah, but if they're stay, tracking stay right us. Here, stay right here. What are you doing? I'm running it over. Okay. I'm how, how do you know that's going to do anything? It looks identical. It doesn't look like it did anything. That's made a noise. It's been 15 days. Where'd it go? Bro, so, these things are strong. It's, it's been in here for two days. Or two, almost three days now. With someone was in the car. No, but like, how how is someone tracking it? I don't understand. It's not an app on your phone. You can track it, it from anywhere. It's literally like. Like if your phone's within range of it, it'll pick it up. This is literally crazy. So we've had that for two days. More than Almost that. Almost three. Yeah. In this car. In this car. Everywhere we if, want. If if it was the person who did it. I don't know. Me. I forgot someone came in the car. Hold on, I'm gonna. Bro, I'm telling you, you cannot just keep throwing it around. It doesn't matter. You need to leave it somewhere and be done with it. You just ran over with the car twice, and it still plays noise, so I don't know. You're right. I wouldn't say, just just leave it on this little, like, edge. Let them come pick it up. They're probably watching us right now, bro. You're right. Sure there's a car parked over there. I could be wrong. Oh, I didn't even... Oh. Yeah, that looks sketch. Okay. This is... This is the first tracking I'm device leaving. we've ever found. I'm leaving it right there. This is the first ever tracking device we found. I'm leaving it right here. So there's no like picture or anything, right? Like it's not like. No. A so thing. so what this is is this is literally just a, a device to track something. For example, if you put this in your wallet and you lost your wallet, you could track where your wallet is that's on the scary. phone. You can pull your phone out and it would that, show you that's with, scary. within feet. Like that's where it really is. scary. Within, yes, it's terrifying. I'm I'm done here. I'm done here. I don't want to play this shit anymore. Well, let's just hold on. When we leave here, pay attention if a car can't. pulls out of nowhere because there's a good chance that they could be following us around. Like, you gotta be within range of the device to, like. Absolutely. That's the sound. I heard Someone's that a couple literally, times. I, that, I don't know if that's a pinging sound, because now that Chris mentions it, we have been driving and playing all day long, and Chris has been saying that he hears, like, he's heard some, like, beeping we sound. Yeah, I just. Harford. Three days, it kind of makes crazy. sense. Even That's CJ crazy. said it. CJ was in our car, we carpooled once to get food, and he was saying, like, he's like, what the fuck is that? I'm not gonna lie, I thought I seen someone down there, and that, like, someone pop out and then go back. I think it was on camera, I said that when I put the window down, I thought yeah, I heard someone Chris walking. Yeah, Chris said he thought he heard someone walking. Yo, we, but... this is literally it right here. Someone is literally tracking us, someone's following us. That's Watch out for alligators. Yeah, this is definitely weird. I don't like this at all. Snake. Is getting... But this a snake. A little garden snake. But the biggest thing is like we haven't had any crazy experiences though. Other than this, like we've been here and we played and like That's crazy. it's been very calm and quiet. I just don't. So. Right. I mean, compared to how it's been at home, we have not had any of these like crazy can I notes mention, or like, anything. Can I mention where? Like about to go home, right? We are literally about to so go. So what? I don't understand what they were like plotting. Just keep an eye on us. See where we go. I don't know. Cause like they wouldn't know that we're like leaving soon. That's another question. Who are they? 
Who is it? But my question here is, if they're tracking us, right? It, did this the, to track us, right? Yeah. They they had to they had that they had to have been the ones that put that in the car from when Absolutely. someone went. No, I just don't know. Like obviously, like I know, we, like we said, I was playing around with the car remote. And the car was unlocked at a certain period of time. But like, wouldn't wouldn't the person like know that we can see them? You know what I mean? Like. Now they do. Now they definitely. They do. probably didn't expect us to find that. It was never like, hey, they're gonna yeah, find my like, tracker. Yeah, but like, yeah, no, but I'm like, I'm saying like you were like playing with the horn and stuff like. Don't you think they would have been like, oh, wait, let me not do this now? You know what I mean? Maybe. I don't, I don't know what people think. Or how I, just operate, checked, you know? I just went to go check the car because we already got in trouble with security a couple times because CJ's loud as shit. So yeah. when I when you were sending the alarm off, I, like, I was like, bro, I'm going to go make sure that security's not here. I don't want to get kicked out of the resort. Yeah. I just don't know. That's scary. But so like, that's, that's, day, that's, been, that's been in the car for... Three days, almost. Yeah. And the thing is, though, if we are being tracked, there's yeah. there's a couple of things I want to touch up on, right? If we're being tracked, I, this doesn't make sense. It doesn't yeah, make if, sense. If we get far enough away from, like, a city and we get out in, like, the woods or the Everglades and we're, like, by ourselves, what's to say that they don't come up and, I don't know, if Dude, they're what, tracking us, they must have ill intentions, What's not to say that this right? isn't the first one? What's not to there say? There could be more. 100%. There could be more. Why, we That's have to check the rest terrifying. of the car. We like, legit, we, we need to have... check your car again at home, too. Yeah, 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 definitely. I highly now doubt we definitely, like, have to, like, go up and down through. My car's been sitting at the airport for, like, the whole time we've yeah, been on this trip, too, so. That's true. CJ's hood in Delaware was popped open when he his locked his car. His windshield was yeah. destroyed. No, I'm like, saying, like, they're getting into people's cars without even crazy. them being unlocked. That's scary. No. I don't even know what to do. Alright. This makes me not want to play right now. This makes me not want to play right now. This is, like, not fun to do. Alright, yeah. And you know what's crazy? We were just talking to the co-founder of Random Nautica Auburn, and we were telling her the story about how someone was in our car. Oh yep. yeah, we did mention it. And then they left, and then we were like, let's go play a little Random Nautica. And now everything makes sense. Everything Everything's makes sense. Together. It all comes full circle. It all comes full circle. We have to get out of here. We have to go I mean, give we're this- leaving. We can't even do anything. We can't even get the rental car back yet. We have to wait we until it's open. I know. Well, yeah, we're gonna need to ride right. to the airport and everything, so. Oh. This is for the best. This is 100% for the best. This is good that we found it. Like, be, be appreciative. We found, we found it, it, yeah. That's terrifying. Unless there's though. somehow another one in there. Like, they left more than one. We should just listen out then. We do one more clean sleep and just make sure there's nothing else. Okay. The okay. Car. Check the trunk. Check all that. I'm going to, I'm going to put, we're going to put the camera down then right now. We're going to go and check everything in this car. Guys. Oh my God. I don't know what to say. I'm going to pick it up if we, if we find anything. Yeah. Decided to generate another point. Cause I really don't know if I want to generate another point. I don't, I don't, I it's don't. It's late and this is, I'm sick. I'm actually sick to my stomach because this is just, it's fucked up. Who does shit like this? I just feel like someone is just totally invading our privacy. Just totally violating Absolutely. all of that. I literally feel violated. I feel violated. That's the only way I could really explain it. All right. We'll catch you guys soon. Let's go check this shit. Like, let me check every crap. Every So, yeah. Um, we were being tracked in our rental car. With a tile tracker. With a tile tracker. We think. I mean. And here's the thing. Like, it, it all comes full circle, right? It, everything makes sense now. Because the whole thing that happened with someone being in our car. Literally watch someone, like, digging through our car. And I know what everyone's thinking. Like, why didn't you stop them? Why didn't you stop them? Guys, I swear on everything, we had a black Kia Fort, and we're at a resort. We're at one of the biggest resorts in Orlando, Florida. Mm -hmm. And there's cars everywhere, and there's so many of the same exact car we have, because they rent that car out a lot. It's a pop, black it's Kia Fort. It's a popular Ford. car. You got to think, too. We were up filming, playing around the other night before. Till late. Slept in. It was the next day. I mean, we just didn't know where we parked. And, like, yeah. After that happened, we went back home. Or back to the resort, we packed our shit and we were ready to leave because we didn't want to do this anymore. Absolutely. We did not want to play anymore, rightfully so. We're back in New York now and we still haven't played Randonautica yet, but we're looking forward to here. Now, I do want to say CJ and Sunny Deeds are going to be coming up to New York soon and we are going to be playing Randonautica together in New York. The reason we're going to be doing that is because we've been experiencing a lot of things in New York that have to do with CJ and CJ wants answers as well. Yeah. So I figured we'd come up here in a group and Absolutely. we tackle this together. Yep. Yeah. And then see what happens.
see what happens. You know, it's always a good time to see James Sonny either way. So Absolutely. whether or not we find anything crazy, you guys are going to be in for a treat. And regardless, strength in numbers. You know, I've much, we're much more safe. I mean, Sonny used to be a wrestler. and Yeah, exactly. And CJ's just a He's trip in himself. So. for a living. Yeah. yeah. And I time. did want to say that, like, we don't know who's doing this, but I do know that it's not Rando Nautica. It is not the Rando Nautica people. After having that conversation with them, I truly know that they're not the ones leaving all their shit behind. They're not leaving the boxes. Then they're not stalking us. They, they are not. They don't want that like image reputation. Like they don't want people to think that if you play the app, you're gonna get stalked. And it, that's not gonna happen to you guys. Like there's something bigger going on. Like we tapped into something we're not supposed to. And on top of that, like we have hundreds of thousands of followers and fans and subscribers yeah. and that's the thing like as you guys know um with more growth comes more hate no matter what i always say the positivity outweighs the negativity always. but god forbid you upset the wrong person if you upset a strong like group or a strong you know and, things and, can go very wrong and they do and i mean we kind of had some crazy things happen after our first visit in florida you guys know where we went when we were in florida that first time we received phone calls from that same group of people. Well, when we got home from Florida, not saying it's them, how, but like, how are they calling us? Like that's the yeah. thing. Like Chris has changed his number several times now. Mm -hmm. This gets annoying because I have to text all my friends, and they're like, "Dude, what the hell? Like, what are you doing? Like, why? Why do you keep changing your number and yeah. stuff like that?" Like, and he, here's the thing. Like, no matter how many times we do it, it happens a lot off camera as well. Yeah. Like, there's a lot of things that happen to us that we don't show while filming. And I don't want people to know that because if they, you know, think they have my number and then realize they don't, they're gonna look for it. And maybe they can find it. Like, just. I don't want people bothering me when I'm home, you know, it's just right. your private space. Your private space, your private time, your bubble. And I'm getting these calls from these numbers at, you know, 10, 11 o'clock at night when I'm trying to relax with my family and friends. It's just, it's very frustrating. But I guess that's it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching us literally shit ourselves. And from here on forward, we're going to stay away from the state of Florida for at least a while. And yeah. I hope you guys understand why. And um, besides that, you awful drivers. Florida drivers are wild. The worst people on the planet. What I did want to say is that Chris and I, as soon as we're done filming this, we're going out to film some more Rando Nautica. So with all that being said, comment down in the comment section below what intents you guys want us to use. Um, because yeah. we're ready. You know, yeah. we're ready and we got some more protection. I'm not gonna keep it at that for now. Yep. We want, um we wanna try new intents, some different things. We're we gonna want... go to different places. So where do you guys want us to go film at next? You know, because we talked to CJ and Sonny and they're down to go wherever, wherever we, we want. So we're going to just, we're going to take our cars and drive together wherever it is, Arizona, uh, Washington state, anywhere. A couple week trip, whatever you so want. Comment down in the comment section below where you guys want us to go. Um, let me know what you guys think. If you have any other theories, if you have new theories, if you're standing with your old theories, let us know down in the comment section below. Absolutely. And with all that being said, we will see you guys in the next Random Nautica video. Peace.